Hello, welcome, bienvenidos. Thank you for tuning in to today's talk about Ligue Dulce Ligue by Federico Núñez. Federico Núñez is an Argentine composer and guitarist. He studied guitar at the Conservatorio Nacional Carlos López Buchardo in Buenos Aires. He later studied composition at the Instituto Nacional de Arte de Buenos Aires, followed by a master's degree in music of the 20th century at the Universidad de Cuyo in Mendoza. He is currently a professor of music at his alma mater, the Conservatorio Nacional Carlos López Buchardo in Buenos Aires, and the Manuel de Falla and Astor Piazzolla conservatories, both in Buenos Aires. The title for his piece, Liwe Dulce Liwe, for unaccompanied clarinet, originates from the Mapuche language. The Mapuche are an indigenous peoples native of southwestern Argentina and south central Chile. The term Mapuche refers to a large collective of peoples from the vast expanse of territory who share common social, religious, and economic structures. They also share a common language, Mapudungun. The Mapuche remained an independent population until the late 19th century, when the countries of Chile and Argentina occupied the lands on which the Mapuche live. Today, the Mapuche are involved in what is referred to as the Mapuche conflict, a conflict over rights to their lands and other indigenous rights, both in Argentina and Chile. Similar issues regarding land rights are faced right here in the U.S. The University of Oregon, for example, where I am filming this video for you, is located on Kalapuya Ilihi, the traditional indigenous homeland of the Kalapuya people. The word liwe, translated to English, means to catch light. In its use by the Mapuche people, the term refers to a song that alludes to an imaginary and timeless South American past. This, tied with the word dulce, meaning sweet, creates a soft, mysterious, and shadowy atmosphere throughout the piece. The motives are often very quiet, representative of spirits hiding or lurking in the shadows, waiting to be revealed at any moment. Small musical outbursts represent a ray of light revealing the shadows that have been hidden, though only momentarily before fading back into darkness. The Mapuche have a traditional co-gender ritual to engage with spirits of the past, first observed in Spanish written records in the 1600s. This ritual consists of a Mapuche heterosexual female shamaness, referred to as machi. The ritual also includes a homosexual male shaman who dresses in female clothing. This shaman is referred to as Machi Weye. In the ritual, all of the Mapuche and Machi become brides to the spirits, who then possess the heads of the shamans. The Mapuche are often the targets of racism today, and many people look at the Mapuche with prejudicial stereotypes. Among them is the stereotype that they are an antiquated people. However, their rituals that date back to the 1600s demonstrate quite the opposite. They demonstrate that the Mapuche hold highly progressive views, as I've just mentioned. Many Mapuche women today reject feminism in their struggles for social justice because of their beliefs which extend beyond binary gender, 
a struggle for social justice that is expanding in our own country today. Perhaps we have something to learn from these indigenous peoples. To learn more about Federico Nunez, I encourage you to check out his website, which I've included the link to here. The link is also posted in the description of this video. As always, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy my performance of Ligue Dulce Ligue, which is the next track in this playlist. I hope to see you next time, where I will discuss the music of Javier Salva, a Cuban saxophonist and composer. <laughs>